Greetings from Terry here, D-Lab. Behind me, I have a Blackface Fender Reverb Princeton amplifier. The owner brought it to me, and what he wants me to do is disconnect the tremolo circuit. He said he never uses it, and eventually wants to replace those controls with some mid-range enhancement. So today, what we're going to do is, yes, I'm going to disconnect the tremolo circuit, but what I want to see is what effect does that have on the frequency response and the gain of the amp? So first, before I do anything, we're going to run a frequency sweep. Then I'm going to make the changes and we'll run it again. Let's see what the difference is. So here's a Princeton. For the test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the treble and bass at 5. So hopefully that's flat. Volume, I'm going to run it at 2. Reverb, speed, intensity, they're off. We're not using them, right? And down here, we've got the HP Spectrum Analyzer, and she is connected across the speaker output of the Princeton. So we're going to do a sweep, I'll do my work, and we'll do her again. I'm going to kill the lights and we'll go at it. Here we go. Sweep start. So you, you will hear the tone right across the speaker. So pretty decent frequency response. Let's do the changes and see what happens. So here's the schematic for the Princeton. Right here is where the negative bias comes in to the grids of the output tubes. And it goes to the 250K intensity pot of the tremolo circuit, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this wire over here and I'm gonna remove the 0.1 microfarad cap. That will totally disable the tremolo circuit. So here's the intensity pot, and here is the 0.1 microfarad cap. I'm going to remove this, and I'm going to rewire the pot so the bias goes direct to the output tubes, and then we're going to retest. So the update's complete, the cap is removed, and I put a jumper across the intensity pot so now the bias goes direct. That pot does nothing, and obviously the tremolo circuit is disabled. Power back up. We're going back up to the old spectrum analyzer. Kill the shop lights. Let's see what she does. So I'm going to compare this to the other sweep, see what we gained, what we lost, or if nothing happened at all. After comparing the sweeps before and after disabling the tremolo circuit, I saw absolutely no differences in gain or frequency response of the Princeton amp. So I would say we probably just busted a myth. It really doesn't make a difference. You would think it does. Because if you look at that schematic, you got some caps and resistors to ground, which should give a little bit of attenuation or even a filter effect, but it does not. So if you have the bright idea that, hey, I'm going to pull that out because I'm going to get more gain out of my amp, you're not. Hope you like the video.